Hey Scrappy Friends, Helen here for the Hey Little Magpie creative team. I just have this layout today where I got carried away pulling everything out to get ready that I just started cutting paper and then realised I hadn't actually shown you what I was doing. I just inserted the reel here that was on our Insta a couple of days ago just showing how I have created the papier-mâché seals that I use to embellish this layout so it's just layers of tissue paper and spritzing water and then after about three or four layers setting it aside to dry so yeah just adding them all there and then peeling the piece off trimming it down and then I've used some of the Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals to then colour and highlight the image Right back to the layout. So I have cut these scraps of paper to 3.75, so three and three quarter inch wide. And then I've done varying lengths so that the, the three pieces all add up to 11 and a quarter inches if you do them end to end. So I've done three rows uh, and just three varying lengths. As I said, they're all cut from my scraps because I'm also this month taking part in Baby Got Scraps Hot. So I decided everything needed edging to pop up off the paper. So I've used black soot distress and just used blending tool there going around each of the individual pieces and the background sheet as well. And now just laying them out. So I have done each piece. So the bottom and the top a quarter of an inch away from the top and bottom and also the strips a quarter of an inch away from the left and the right. We've then got the middle panels, the middle pieces are an eighth of an inch away from from the, the ones that are either side of them. And then that's just kind of gave me a nice even spread out of the papers. So after I've stuck them all down, I do decide I do want to do some stitching and with the bits in the middle where my sewing machine set up, I couldn't get around. So the ones in the middle, I've pulled off and stitched separately and then the rest of them I have to stitch directly onto the page. So just showing you there the back where I've pulled through the threads from the front to stick them down with some washi on the back. I think that's actually masking tape painters tape I've used. And then come in with this row of pictures. Now these pictures are from D Dun Robin House, Dun Robin House. I'm really sorry, I don't know how you pronounce that. Castle, actually, not house. And these are from Scotland, our Scotland trip earlier this year. This is a companion page, so I'm going to do two layouts. This is one where it's the pictures of me and Mr. Ding, or me or Mr. Ding. And then the companion page to this, which is going to have the pictures of the castle and the gardens. Um, not as a double page, didn't really want to do it as a double page spread, but it's just going to be two separate single page layouts that sit next to each other in my album. Um, so I'm here just sticking down the photos. Need to do a quick swap on my refill on my adhesive. And then once that's sorted, we're back to sticking my photos down. So I've done this column of pictures with my landscape photos. And then I've got this picture of Mr. Ding, the only portrait in this collection photo. And um, that's there off to the side of the column. Uh, I did find it a bit tricky because I like... All my pictures facing the right di same direction, so facing into the page, where some of these weren't. Uh, but I do get over it and just think I've, you know, with with placing of the embellishments leading your eye that way instead of by the photos. So just sticking down the title, I've decided to use this from the word sheet in the order it was on the sheet. I have forgot to mention this is using Vicky and. Um, Vicky Booten print shop so we're going back to an earlier collection and and having a break from discover and create today then using these arrows I said to leave the eye around the page and these little tiny puffy hearts I'm going to put on my two papier-mâché pieces that I've made with the wax seal head and some tissue uh, the reason behind the ruler as an embellishment is just for how far a walk this was and up and down the steps from the castle down to the garden. I've wanted to go to Dunrobin Castle for, for years and we haven't gone because I just wouldn't have been able to, to manage the walk and manage the steps. But after the weight I lost over the previous 12 months, 
then you know this became possible and I actually found it a lot easier than I thought when I looked at it um, so I was really pleased so that's the the um, rule that I've put on there is measuring the accomplishment measuring the walking and I just felt it's quite a fitting embellishment not random as it looks I'm just using some of my washi stickers that I've got from Hey Little Magpie. These are the coffee rings. I'd run out of coffee rings in print shop and I just had these two partial ones. And you know me, like three embellishment clusters. So I think the only thing I've got in three places that are the same are these embellishment rings. I do put a third actual arrow on that cluster to the far right but it is a sticker one rather than a puffy sticker um, and that one there I do actually rip it as I was pulling it off the one that's just below the picture of Mr Ding which is fine because it's been tucked underneath the photo so it, it didn't matter that I'd accidentally ripped the washi in two and just in my frustration of trying to put these coloured ones where I want them this pink one ends up somewhere a little different but I still like it in the end um, so yeah just sticking that down we are near the end of the video now so if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up for the video it really helps the channel if you are engaging with the videos I'm just using some wet glue now to stick my papier-mâché seal head pieces that I've done and adding some circular embellishments from the sticker sheet. I felt that just putting these on two of the clusters kind of helped with the fact that the, the seals are only on two of the clusters as well. Um, so yeah, nearly done. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out the other videos on the channel. And see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.